Today guys, I'm taking you hunting. We're gonna go hunting. I'm gonna take you to the top of the hill where it's Halnaka Windmill and there's an old World War II listening station up there. But I'm taking you for a special kind of hunting. So as I mentioned guys, I've come up the top of what is known as Halnaka Windmill and you might be able to see in the background there, they're actually restoring the windmill at the moment and Jamie and I have walked at the top of the hill here to uh, take some video because I wanted to talk about hunting. I wanted to talk about hunting for those cloud computers. Now I saw a great t-shirt a couple of weeks ago where somebody was saying, remember, there's no such thing as cloud computing, only somebody else's computer, which is absolutely spot on. In fact, I had a meeting with a guy called Phil Williams. One of the first meetings that we ever had, he said that he didn't like the term cloud computing because it was a fluffy term for a computer somewhere else. Now, I had a recent question about should somebody be looking at cloud-based or hosted solutions. Now, there are real benefits to actually going for a hosted or a cloud-based solution. You reduce your IT overheads, you don't have to worry about the IT support, uh, software updates are done automatically, all of these kind of things. And we've done tutorials on TDIQ on hosted and cloud-based solutions. Now, these are great. Now, I met a software company a few years ago uh, that was looking at doing cloud-based software for the S1000D market. And I asked them the question, how are you going to handle something like ITAR? In fact, the first question I asked them was, where are your servers based? I said, are they here in Europe? Are they in India? Are they in over in the United States? Now, they were very proud and they said, we've got a whole data center in the United States. And I said, well, that's fantastic. So you've just wiped out your whole defense client base in Europe or outside of the United States. And they didn't understand why. And when I mentioned ITAR, and I know a number of you, when I mention ITAR, are shivering, shuddering, running to your lockers and hiding under the desks. ITAR causes a massive headache for organizations, especially in defense. This is generally why a hosted solution for a defense contract just won't work. It just won't fly. The in the aerospace sector, commercial aerospace sector, maybe a hosted solution could be a good solution for your technical information. In mainstream supermarkets or anything along those lines, yeah, there's a great call for hosted solutions. People like SDL and their knowledge center have a great hosted solution. That means they look after all of the IT overhead, they look after all of the customer support, they guarantee a certain amount of uptime. At TDW, we use hosted solutions. Now, but we use this because we have purchased our own server, but it's stored in a data center somewhere and somebody else manages it for us. We have complete admin rights to it and we can back it up and access it and set things up. But the actual physical sitting it inside a rack is looked after by our supplier, our IT supplier, which means that we don't have to worry about it being connected to the internet. We don't need to worry about it being in a safe air conditioned environment. Somebody else is doing that for us. It means that we can get on with producing content like this and showing you content like this. Now there is an alternative to cloud-based or hosted type solutions, and that's the cloud licensing model. Now, if you look at something like Adobe, Adobe have their TechCom suite, they have their Creative Cloud suite, which is all locally installed, which means you install it all down on your 
PCs and your Macs and whatever it might be you want to install it on. And all that happens is every time you load up a piece of their software, it interrogates a cloud licensing server somewhere that says, yes, you can run. And then the software will run and you can crack on and do whatever you want to do. Now, again, in many defense organizations, that doesn't work and it can't work because a lot of the machines that we work on are locked down or they might have sensitive information on. So, but Adobe do have models that get around and go around that. So whilst I've come up here and I'm being a little bit churlish about looking for cloud-based as two pheasants are fighting over there, they, I'm looking for the cloud-based software solutions. There are no such things, just other people's computers and remember that and you have to weigh up what works for you and your organization whether you're a small company just starting out or you've got low IT infrastructure or you know you've got the kind of idea then hosted solutions can work really well in defense especially if you're concerned about ITAR it's a non-starter it's not gonna it's just not gonna happen and so from the top of this beautiful spring day here on the South Downs at the top of Halnaka. This actually used to be during the Second World War was, that's what this part is, I was gonna introduce that. During the Second World War, this used to be known as a listening station. And Jamie will take some B-roll and show you as I'm talking. Down in the uh, little valley here is Tangmere or what remains of Tangmere airfield. And that was, the major defense airfield during the second world and a bit from the first world war but mainly the second world war and lots of united states guys were based there canadians were polish were based over in bognorat and auxiliary strip but this was a what is known as a listening station so it was the part of the early warning system that let us know when the bad guys were coming across the water it would then scramble all of the spitfires and the hurricanes and all of those things that were stationed around here during the Second World War. And it's just, you know, this is kind of all that remains, unfortunately. It's, it's kind of wilting away. And there's some over there on the other side of the field, which Jamie or video is looking a little bit sorry for itself. But we will at some point go down into uh, Boxgrove for a tutorial where, um, I've got an idea for a tutorial down there where there's an American um, airman from New York who's buried down in the Priory grounds down there. And um, I would like to, to involve him somehow in one of the tutorials. But anyway, cloud-based computing, it just doesn't exist. Just somebody else's computer.